Liquid Chromatography Mass Spectrometry or LCMS is important analytical system. In this video, I'd like to introduce the various configurations of LCMS systems, their key features and applications in solving analytical problems. Mass spectrometry is an analytical technique used to measure the masses and relative abundance of ions in a sample. It consists of an interface, a mass analyzer and a detector. Both mass analyzer and detector work only in a high vacuum condition. But, sample from the connected liquid chromatography is in liquid form. Therefore, an interface is needed to remove the solvent and, at the same time, to ionize compounds to form ions. Electrospray ionization or ESI is the commonly used interface in various LCMS. With a nebulizing gas and high voltage, liquid mobile phase from LC produces an aerosol in ESI organic molecules and droplets of the aerosol are converted to protonated ions. The ions are separated from the droplets due to Coulomb repulsive force, and then the gaseous ions are introduced into the vacuumed MS system. Normally, ESI does not cause fragmentation of organic molecules and is called soft ionization. A mass spectrometer measures the mass to charge ratio. The M to Z ratio is an important identity for a molecule. Taking sulfamerazine as an example, an antibacterial agent with a mass of 264.1. It forms protonated ion by adducting an H plus and becomes charge number plus 1. Therefore, its M to Z ratio is 265.1. LCMS single quadrupole system is a basic model in the LCMS family. It can be operated in scan mode or in sim mode. In scan mode, mass spectra are obtained continuously during an analysis. The mass spectrum of the eluding peak can be used for identification or confirmation of a compound. The selected ion monitoring or SIM mode measures selectively only the targeted ions. SIM mode is used mainly for quantitation of targeted compounds due to its excellent sensitivity, selectivity and repeatability. LCMSMS triple quadrupole system is the most commonly used model in a wide variety of applications. Triple quadrupole LCMS can be operated in multiple modes such as scan mode, product ion scan mode, precursor ion scan mode, neutral loss scan mode, SIM mode and MRM mode. The multiple reaction monitoring mode is used in trace level quantitation of compounds. Q1 allows selection of precursor ion, which is fragmented into product ions in the collision cell Q2. Then, the product ions are filtered in Q3 and detected. High resolution mass spectrometry offers excellent mass accuracy due to the extremely high resolving power. LCQ TOF is a representative hybrid configuration in the high resolution LCMS category. A precursor can be measured directly by the time of flight to obtain accurate M Z value. The system also can be operated in Q TOF mode to obtain high resolution accurate MSMS spectrum. LCQ TOF can be operated in scan mode, MSMS mode, DDA mode, and DIA mode, etc. What is mass accuracy for QTOF instrument? Mass accuracy in Dalton or Milli Dalton can be calculated by minusing the exact mass from the measured accurate mass. The mass accuracy or mass error can be expressed in Milli Dalton or in ppm. Usually, high resolution QTOF enables achieve mass accuracy of third or fourth decimal point of its molar mass or 1 to 2 ppm. Up to now, we have briefly described the three types of LCMS systems, that is, the basic model single quadrupole LCMS, the most popular model triple quadrupole LCMSMS and the advanced high-resolution LCQ TOF hybrid system. The latest models from Shimadzu of the three types LCMS are LCMS 2050, LCMS 8060NX and LCMS 9050. These systems feature as ultra-fast mass spectrometry or UFMS with three main instrument attributes. Ultra-fast speed, high sensitivity and excellent robustness. Let's carry out analysis for sulfamerazine on the three types of LCMS systems and see their differences. Here is the mass spectrum of sulfamerazine on single quadrupole MS. The scan mode spectrum confirms the M to Z ratio of its protonated ion is 265 Dalton. Such information is useful in the identification or confirmation of its presence in an unknown sample. On LCMSMSTQ, we can analyze the compound in MS and MSMS mode simultaneously. Same as in single quadrupole mass spectrum, the mass peak at M, Z265 appears in the MS spectrum. Additionally, we also obtain MSMS spectrum of the precursor M, Z265, 
which shows the fragments from the precursor by CID process. These fragments are related to the functional groups in the molecule. Therefore, MSMS spectrum is useful in structural confirmation. If we analyze the same compound on LCQ TOF, what additional information can we obtain? We can obtain both MS and MSMS spectra too. However, both spectra are high-resolution accurate mass spectra. It means that the M to Z values obtained are more accurate, likely goes to 4 decimal point. The mass accuracy or measurement error for the measured M, Z 265.07544 is calculated to be 0.07 millidalton or plus 0.26 ppm. What additional information can we obtain from such an accurate measurement of the molecule? Assuming it is an unknown compound. That means, we do not know the elemental composition or chemical formula. The accurate mass measured can help us to obtain the chemical formula. A software called Formula Predictor can be used for calculating the most likely chemical formula. After parameter setting, click, calculate, and then a formula candidate is obtained. Furthermore, using the accurate MSMS spectrum, it is possible to identify an unknown compound first. The MSMS spectrum is sent to a program called, Assign. We can select ChemSpider or PubChem database for compound database search. This database search generates a list of candidates. As we can see that sulfamerazine is found as the first candidate. If we click on Assign, the MSMS peaks are annotated based on the found structure. This fragment annotation provides further support to the structure. In summary, we have briefly introduced and compared three types of LCMS single quadrupole LCMS is often regarded as AMS detector for HPLC. The MS unit is in small size, lower cost and highly sensitive for various organic compounds. It has been widely used in quantitation and confirmation analysis. The most important application of LCMS MSTQ system is the MRM-based quantitation for its extremely high sensitivity and selectivity. MRM-based targeted screening method is a very important technique for screening analysis of many compounds like pesticides, illicit drugs and PPCP in food, biological samples in surface water or wastewater samples etc. The high-resolution LCQ TOF system is important in identification of unknown compound. It has been used in research and industrial R&D like natural product, metabolomics, proteomics, biopharmaceuticals etc. It is also important in food safety and environmental study using the unique techniques, data-dependent acquisition or data-independent acquisition for untargeted screening analysis. Thank you for your attention. Excellence in Science. Shimazu.